Before you start, please read the instructions carefully, taking special note of any warnings. It will take two people approximately two and a half hours to assemble the bed. Lay the parts on a soft surface like carpet to avoid scratches. Note that all pieces are numbered. A medium Phillips or crosshead screwdriver, a medium flat blade screwdriver, a rubber mallet, an Allen hexagonal key is provided. Find three panels two, six panels five, panel 24 and 25. Attach all cam locks and dowels as shown. Make sure the long side of the cam lock lines up with the hole. If you are unsure about how cam locks work, please see our separate video. Now find parts 3, 4 and 6 and add all cam locks and dowels as shown. Now find panels 7, 8 and 9 and add all cam locks and dowels as shown. Take panel 3 and attach panels 24, 25 and 3 panels 2. Now add panel 1 to the top, making sure to line up the dowels correctly. Now find screws E and screw them into the panel as shown. Find felt pads Q and stick them to this base unit as shown. Now flip the unit over and screw four cam locks A into the top of panel 3. Now find panel 4 and 3 panels 5 and attach as shown. Now add panel 6 as shown and tighten the cam locks B. Now screw male cam locks A into panels 6. Now repeat with the other assembly. Find panel 7 and attach either end to panels 6 and 8 using the cam locks. Carefully lift the assembly onto the base as shown. Tighten up the four cam locks. Now find panels 11 and 12 and attach all cab locks and dowels as shown. Now find panels 13, 14 and 19. Then find packets C, F and G and insert barrel nuts into panel 13 and 14 as shown.
Now attach all cam locks to panels 13, 14 and 19 as shown. Find panels 10, 15, 16, 17, 18 and 26 and add the dowels and cam locks as shown. Now find panels 11, 12, 13 and 14 and attach all dowels and cam locks. Attach the panels as shown. Find panels 10 and 19 and attach felt pads Q to the base, leaving approximately a 10mm gap from the edge. Add panels 15, 16, 17 and 18 to panel 14 as shown. Add panel 10 and tighten the cam locks. Then add panel 19 as shown. Now turn the panel upright and add the rear metal step supports using Allen bolts K. This is a very important step so please double check you have attached these correctly before moving on. Once you are sure that the step supports are correctly fitted, it's time to connect the right hand section to the media shelving unit using four screws E. Find panels 20 and 22, then attach the slat runners 28 to each panel using Allen bolts K and nut N. Tighten using two Allen keys as shown. Note that two Allen bolts are screwed directly into the panel and three utilise nuts N. Now attach two cam locks to the lower part of panel 22. Find panel 23 and attach the felt pads to the base Find panel 20 and attach the two cam locks as shown. Lift panel 20 into place and tighten using Allen nuts J and bolts G. Make sure you have a helper to support the end of the panel whilst you are screwing in the bolts. Using a helper, attach panel 23 to the other end of panel 20.
tighten the cam locks below the top step of the ladder. Find Allen bolts K and attach the metal bars 30 under the ladder rungs as shown. Check and tighten all cam locks on the ladder section. It is extremely important that the ladder is built as per the instructions, so please take extra care on this section and double check your work. Once you have made sure that the metal runs are correctly fitted, attach panel 21 and secure it using four Allen bolts J and nuts G. Now attach the media shelving unit to panel 23 using three nuts N and Allen bolts M. Now attach panel 26 to panel 7 using screws E. Then lift panel 22 into place and tighten using the cam locks on panel 26 and Allen bolts J and nuts H at either end. Now press the shelf support studs at your chosen height and fit the shelves as shown. Now press in the shelf support studs at your chosen height and fit the shelves as shown. Finally, attach the 15 bed slats 29 using Allen bolts L. Congratulations, your gaming high sleeper bed is now ready for use.